Another game for United at the Molyneux. Another game where United don't get three points. Wolves won, United won over the full 90 minutes. Definitely a fair result. The first 45 minutes belonged to United. The second 45 to Wolves. But for United fans, we're coming away from that asking questions. Why did Paul Pogba take that penalty? Why was Jesse Lingard left on so long? Why did it take so long for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to bring on Juan Mata? And why did Dan James stay on for 88 minutes? In the 88th minute, Solskjaer made the subs, brought Pereira on and Greenwood on. They can hardly make a difference in that game. But for that first 45 minutes, United were in total control. Showing the sort of control I haven't seen United have in a game for some time. Like it was a real ease of control. Comfortable in possession, happy to have the ball to feet. In total control. And then Martial scored what was a wonderful finish at the end of a wonderful team move. And United deservedly had the 1-0 lead in that first half. Wolves really didn't do anything to threaten to United in that first half. And the whole thing changed in the second half. What changed? What happened at half-time to make United switch up so much? Wolves obviously became more aggressive in that second half. They came for that equaliser and Ruben Neves got it with an unbelievable finish. Who knew Ruben Neves was a top-class player? The one midfielder I really wanted United to sign this year went and scored the equaliser tonight, and it was a fantastic goal. But the big question mark absolutely has to be, from that game, not why Paul Pogba took that penalty, but why Marcus Rashford didn't. Scored a blinding penalty against Chelsea, scored that goal penalty against PSG last year, Rashford has got a great record from penalties. I think that's four now that Paul Pogba has missed. To his credit, it was a good save from Patricio rather than a poor penalty from Pogba, but he shouldn't have been taking it. If a striker scores a penalty like that the week before, the next week you don't take the penalty off him. Simple as that. And now Pogba, unfortunately, is going to be in the headlines for the wrong reasons. And tonight, a very mixed bag performance from him. Some great balls, some poor but you could say that about pretty much every single Paul Popper performance, so I don't think we're really surprised. Martial looked a cut above everybody else. But I'm frustrated, really, at Solskjaer not making those subs earlier. Dan James and Jesse Lingard, after 70, 75 minutes, they should have come off. Solskjaer should have taken them out of the situation, brought on the fresh legs of Greenwood, and that could have made a difference. But to bring him on with only a couple minutes left is not giving him an opportunity to make an impact on the game that he can have. Solskjaer this week saying that Greenwood was a better natural finisher and a better finisher at the club right now than Martial and Rashford. You can't then give him two minutes at the end of a game away at Wolves and expect him to make the difference. It's not fair. And it's such a shame because I think United, if we had that sort of control that we did in the first half, would have breezed to three points tonight against a very good Wolves team who beat us twice at Molyneux last year. I was worried, I'll be honest, that we, it was going to be 2-1 again tonight. But as good as Wolves were, I don't really feel they threatened United's goal directly, properly for more than 10 minutes. Maybe I'm being unfair there. But that bit where they, Jimenez had the flick on for Moutinho's free kick, hit the post, then they got the goal. That was an intense period of pressure that United didn't cope with. Question marks, again, will have to be asked about that. But United tonight... When it was nil-nil, we struggled to break Wolves down. That goal from Martial opened them up, and that's what happened against Chelsea last week. We needed that penalty to open it up. When a team plays high against us, we can hit hard behind with a counter-attack. And I'm a bit surprised at how slow we were going from back to front today. Took a little bit too long, allowed Wolves to get into their defensive shape, and United couldn't get through them. But tonight, because it's a game we've lost twice last year, I would call that a good point. Overall, I call it a fantastic first 45 minutes and a pretty woeful second 45 minutes. Big question marks have to be asked about why Pogba took that penalty away from Rashford and why Solskjaer waited so long with his substitutes. But one thing you've also got to say as well is in the summer, Solskjaer said he was going to be ruthless. Everybody stayed at the club and me, myself and loads of other fans were saying, ruthless, that's not ruthless. But in these first two games, Young, Matic, Jones, Small, Nowhere to be seen. Being left out of the squad. And today was the youngest starting Premier League eleven of the season so far. So there's positives there. I can see the style there from Solskjaer. I just have to ask why Pogba was allowed to take that penalty and why it took Solskjaer so long to make the subs that ultimately 
couldn't affect and change the game. Because I think three points were there for the taking tonight against a very good Wolves team. Let me know what you think about the match in the comments below. Who was your man of the match for me, Martial? That's the sort of confident Martial you want to see. But I would say it's two points dropped because if United kept that same tempo and momentum that we had from the first half, that game was there for the taking.